This is Tita on Plus TV Africa. Thank you for watching. My name is Elsie Godwin, and of course, I have my co anchors with me, Ife Omai. Oh and Ife Oluwa <laughs> I think you guys have to start introducing yourself. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm tired of massaging your ego. You didn't even get the intelligent and woke part. Mm, you know? Um, mm, okay. I'll be able to drink on my own. Go ahead, go. If, uh, my name is Elsie Godwin. And you not point to us. I'll not say. Feel and I say intelligent and woke. Koshi. Just to be me. <laughs> Just sound like be you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hmm. Um, Ghanaian rapper Sakodi hints presidential ambition, I guess. You can uh, why? No, please. Why? Why no? Why are you supporting Kanye? You're not supporting well, I'm Sakodi. not supporting Kanye. I'm not supporting Trump. I'm not supporting people. And Trump who is not an entertainer. He was for the longest time. He had a show. Like I'm tired of this thing where we are rubbishing the position of presidency. Like no, how, why would you say rubbishing? Because there's people who are who have committed their lives to politics, who went to school, got the experience, who are better qualified. In Africa, just because yes, just because you mm, have a fame and you are singing songs and you have an attitude and you now you you now dressed in kaftan and made a pose, you think <laughs> you can be a president? Is it you? But then. <laughs> Again, don't you think this is you limiting what he can become because he is an artist? So not expecting anything serious. Not, I, I mean, I don't like to see entertainment as some serious, but you get my drift, right? Mm. So not seeing them as people that can be in summits and boardrooms and uh, as a president. I, I, whatever I, it I is. personally see it as misuse of privilege because not every person. Okay, now imagine somebody who was in banking that has no experience and did the same pose we won't be talking about it you're using your privilege of fame to act like that it has given you sorry how do you mean someone in banking that comes out to say they want to become mm -hmm. president mm -hmm. why do you know I mean, do, can you remember the kind of people that came out in 20 okay i think it's the election before this one even the one that went on the even the former the governor one that went on the knee like that that's like a meme forever was, now it was the said, world bank i mean anybody yeah, can I mean, be president CBN, if everybody look at the cross that okay oh. you know so don't look down on second oh. i think he's also been very <clears throat> passionate about his people and um, investing in the right person. thing. Uh, you don't have to be a good person. You just continent. have to be able to gather the right people to lead a country. You don't need to be the oh. <laughs> brave. That's, uh, that, that explains a lot about our continent, I would mm. say. Mm. Okay. Um, for me, I, in as much as I do not see uh, Sarko there becoming the president of Ghana, I still will not say someone like Sarko there cannot become the president. I mean, let me even say like him, like, how, like an artist. John yeah, Dumelo. Like an artist. When we are talking about him, we are I was even to going, say, oh, cool, I'm even yeah. Going to, I'm, so why not Sarko I'm going to me, bring I don't it, know who, who's quick to say that. As far as I'm concerned. I'm going to who, bring it home. Um, okay. Banky W, when he was running for his senatorial seat. That's I, very different. Wait, why is it different? Uh -uh. No, You're no, going to no. compare the role that the power that is placed on a senator in regards to the Remember president. Remember that uh, Ghana is just like Lagos State. It was even member of House of Rep, not even <laughs> Senate senatorial seat. So uh, that, that was not a shame. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. So when it was running for to be the member of the House of Representatives, you know, I had the same taught in my head that can he actually do this as a musician is this he, yeah this and that but i remember we came into this building and we had a chat and we had and he was able to convince me and not to confuse me that he's suitable for that seat so sometimes their style of music or even the lifestyle they portray is not really who they are it's just what put food on their table so I don't see anything wrong with a Sarkodie running for president or someone in Sarkodie's position. No, I would not say it's not who they are. It's just a side of them. I mean, yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> it is who they are, part of who they are. Not all of them necessarily. I've met a lot of artists that their lifestyle is completely different from their music style. Do you want to mention name names? One. Olamide. What is different about Olamide the is a you? very shy guy who keeps to himself a lot. What, meaning that's when, a side of him, like what people call your alter ego. It's a side of you that you don't display every time. Who but you cannot not, who, just who, say who, you who have is to not jump in on the table. Why are you beefing Olamide now? Mm, that's <laughs> nonsense. Mm -hmm. 
my own shy is, is, <laughs> is that will these people not use the platform as a training ground? Because when I look at people like Obama, for example, Obama is one person that comes to my mind because I followed him um, meticulously, and maybe also someone like Wally Shoinka, that I know a few, few of them that have invested a lot of time over the years to gather knowledge about their leadership. role, about their leadership, about politics. I can't imagine how their performance will be able to be compared to someone who has been invested in entertainment for a long time and all of a sudden because they are serious and passionate, One, what, what I think, passionate about what, entertainment. Wait, wait, guys. What I think most of them need to do is not don't jump from being a musician to, to being a president. A president. Mm. Start at least, even if you want to Council take that lead. Of your community, sir. Thank you. Local government chairman. Huh. This, there, there, it is a process. You, you need to know how you to lead. Game, right? Yeah, you need to. Know, yeah, politics mm. is a dirty game. Not just in Nigeria, across the globe, mm. it is a dirty game. And if you are not, is the powder that they have blown on Kanye that's making him be. <laughs> Trump started this thing. The minute America allowed a a showbiz businessman be the president, I feel like it just really watered down. The position of power, and I don't think it's a. I don't think and it's everybody a thinks I can be the president. Yes, yes. I can be the president. Every clown. Not, mm. not Everyone with enough ego thinks that they can and be the president. And speaks good English. And is passionate. And has bought um, what you used to what what are busy to wash your hands. And it's when cast down with the nah, pose. That's low of you guys. We're so oh. I mean, it's your opinion. And you that is Moving I. on. <laughs> <laughs> According to a new report, Kanye West is threatening to reveal Kardashian family secrets during. A Twitter live stream if his wife follows through on any attempts to lock him up. Hmm. I beg, please, can just Kim, please. And now we are begging you, can this intervention happen faster? <laughs> because I can't wait for Kanye to steal. Because mm. Kanye is going to tell us a lot, and I think mm. we're going to have topics for like two weeks straight, <laughs> you know, just on Kanye and the Kardashians. Mm. And I just think, um, yeah, I'm really interested in this one. And I, I can bet Kanye is not bluffing. Mm, uh -huh. If they try it, it's going to spill. Of course. I mean, they say from celebrity hookups to feud to things that are not happening on keeping up with the Kardashians. Ah, uh, no, it's going to be so to much finances. tea spilling. Hmm. Tea spilling. Maybe they're not even as rich as we think they are. That one I can believe. Um, it's weird because I'm now even beginning to wonder, especially when Black China came out to say something, and that's somebody that... I, I wouldn't really take her words lightly because she's the other black person that has been close to the family. And she, she's even saying that he doesn't have bipolar disorder, that this guy is fine, that the, that Kim, Chris uh, and the family he has come out to say are crazy. He, he himself has No, he's never said he had issues. Yeah, but mental health issues is not the same as bipolar disorder. But he has never told us the specific type he has. He did on TMZ. After he is, said 400 years, he said he was on antidepressants. The antidepressants is not for bipolar disorder, it's for depression. And depression is a different type of mental illness. Because when you use the word bipolar disorder, you are strategically saying that the person's words can be taken seriously. So in a way, the conspiracy theory around the fact that that's also a means to control what he's saying that could be the truth as, do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, maybe that's the uncover up story to try and contain the situation that he was saying on Twitter. That maybe he actually said it in good form of mind or whatever. Mm. I don't know. That's one theory. Away from that, I still think it's really messy because there was an article that I saw that seemed to have a lot of sources, obviously. And it, she's even begin to contemplate the, the, um, divorce. The, the, the divorce because I can imagine for someone like her, whether I agree or not, a lot of secrecy and the uh, maturity and ability to know when things are confidential and when things are for story. Mm. It's probably what is holding that family together. together till tomorrow because I can imagine that there's a lot of mess that could break them. But they've been able to control the narrative a lot of the times with their show and their PR, whatever. And having somebody associated to them like Kanye West that is, first of all, ego-driven and diabolical and out of... Uh, out, diabolical. Yeah, I feel like he's a bit like he explodes in a way and is, <laughs> it doesn't always end up being a good thing. I, oh okay, maybe not that one, call, maybe say outrageous. Somebody who is ego driven and outrageous. And not without, stable. With, exactly. Without the sprinkle of, of mental health issues, it's, it's kind of crazy to somebody like that. So I'm not, not just eager that he will spill something, but I'm eager about the whole story in general. Like, how is it going to end up? Obviously, from her perspective, if they're, if they're not lying, he needs help. How do you get somebody that to get help from him? This, basically. I mean, I've, no, I feel I've, they're not going to divorce. I yeah. feel they're going to stay together regardless of all this drama. There's going to be a statement put out and then before you know it, they're back together and then we have the sixth key. Though. They're on uh -huh. four right now, right? Mm. And I the think fifth they're done. Key. 
Because we never listen, know. she's saying that he lied about the attempt to um, what's it called abort North, and she's very moved by that. So. Let's just take our story for real. If you're with a husband that actually has realities in his head, that's a kind of... Like, how can you create that type of story well, that you wanted North to kill? came kill? to the public domain, there were rumors about um, Kim not wanting to have a child yet, what, but that about her body mm -hmm. shape and all that. So that rumor actually came up. It's, this is not the first time it's coming up, actually. Hmm. So I don't know what is going on because in Because from the show that Mia was watching when she had that really bad pregnancy, I think she always wanted to have kids. She just didn't enjoy the pregnancy, which is why the last two were surrogacies. So maybe rumors, but from the source itself, it looked mm -hmm. like she was actually Yeah, it eager. looked like, yeah, she wanted a family, but she, she wanted surrogacy from day one. Mm, I don't think so because she still um, got pregnant for the other child, hoping that the next one would be would be good. It was after the second one was really bad, and then she even had health issues. I remember that show that it was mm. almost bad that she had one complicate. I've forgotten the name now. Then she now decided for surrogacy. I don't think somebody will mm. want a surrogate from beginning and do it twice. Well, let's see how it goes. Mm. I just hope that they win. Somehow. Oh, please, the intervention, real quick. Man, I need things to talk about. <laughs> I'll just take away his phone. And I don't know how that intervention... That intervention is probably what's going to break or make the relationship. Because if they go lock this man up on like, intervention, meaning behind his back, and actually carry him away, and he doesn't like that, I don't know how you could get past that. Because he won't be able to trust that, that relationship anymore. It could. It's a very messy situation. That is the one. Tea time will continue right after the short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I just see them every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do it. Everybody feeling alright. Still buy. Sometimes I look myself minimal are you. Mm. Apala music is for mature minded people. I got DM sometimes from Malawi like Sleeping early. Sleeping early. Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. AY becomes the most followed comedian in Africa and most followed male actor in Nigeria. Taking to Instagram to announce his social worth, he said, quote, it still feels good to be the most followed stand-up comedian in Africa and the most followed actor and male in Nigeria. Thanks to my 9 million followers on Instagram, 5.7 million on Facebook and 1.5 million on Twitter and 860,000 subscribers on YouTube, making it over 16 million followers across board. God bless you for always supporting the AY brand, end of quote. Congratulations to him. Mm -hmm. Do you know the first thing I did when I saw the story? Went to his Instagram. No? I went to check Trevor Noah's followers. <laughs> so I'm like, no, that can't be. But I don't know. I mean, we have a weird uh, taste of... Um, what well, is it? Is, um, Trevor Noah doesn't have as many followers? He has about 6 million. Okay. So no, I, I was hoping that Trevor Noah would be the most followed right. um, comedian in Africa mm. because that guy is intelligent. And I don't know mm. why intelligence doesn't drag crowd. Mm. I don't know if it's just me that I've noticed it. But yes, if you, if you are too talented and you're putting in the work, you have the right platforms. Of course, you have people following you. But compared to Compared to AY and Trevor, I mean, I'm just mm. saying, but of course, congratulations to him. He's doing something right. I mean, he's doing something right. I've always said it. He might not get some things right, but the business side of what he's doing, I think he understands it well, and it's paying off for him. So, kudos to, for, kudos to him, but President Muhammad Dubari is also the most, the most followed, followed president. African president. So, mm. yeah. So, but um, what I like about AY is the fact that um, he's actually monetizing ease and... Um, you can tell he's, he's on different brands. And mm. in fact, he doesn't even have to go to them anymore. I believe a lot of brands will be chasing him to be the ambassadors um, and then and give him endorsement deals and stuff like that. So he's monetizing it, and I like that about him. And congratulations to him. But I would have told RMD though. Mm. Mm. RMD. Okay, so <laughs> I've, I've, I've been... Okay, that's for the actor's for part. For the actor yeah. part, okay. yeah. I've been fortunate to work closely with him. So when I was in the Nollywood industry space and, you know, 
Work it's away, right? Yeah, well, okay. it wasn't with him, but they, we called him to help with pushing out the brand. Okay. First of all, I have to say that he is an open person. Like, usually, when I said it's God's grace and just, Shah just pushed out. He gave us strategies and ways. He even asked for people, for um, the person that I was working with to give a team to it. So it's actually not just by being intelligent or talented. He's quite strategic yeah which like, is why i said he's made he understands it, the business yeah he's yeah. almost made it a job so it's not that um he's better than a lot of other people that don't have a following he's made social media a job on its own that people are cracking their heads to figure out what they're going to post in three months what they're going to post now how that's going to blend together spaces for the unknown like he's not joking around with the social media and i followed him for a while but i've unfollowed him now because it was flooding my timeline i don't really like that but um i am um, <laughs> even following it he's so fine quite his strategy is not working for you no it's not okay. <laughs> and he can't work for everyone if everyone will be following him on instagram mm. it doesn't work for me it's too much and i are I, you following him i'm not sure i think so mm. so I, I i think that um even when you look at the content it's quite good it's quite engaging mm. and he's putting his heart into it you can't say mm. javanoa spends that much time focusing on his um his social media like that even my favorite like i don't think that they, those people do that take that much effort so i like that it's paying off for him and i also like that he's giving back so if it was, so it was somebody that i knew that was really selfish and the whole social media thing was kind of like a too much of a facade that it's not anything like him maybe i wouldn't be so happy but he's quite giving with his space with his platform if he knows you he doesn't shy away mm. from helping yeah, so yeah. i really he like also, that he's also one of those people that would share yeah. Um, your wings. Your yeah. wings. Like there's you a put new up your movie, movie. You'll put yes. it out. I think it was one of those who yes. came out sometimes talk about it as well. That people don't they don't support each other mm. in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. Like someone will have a new movie and you all will push your face away mm. like you didn't mm. see it. So I think he addressed that sometime. And yeah. I think that's and part of doing, the strategy doing as well. well. For yeah. himself, yeah. Doing because well. you know, a lot of people big shout out to the king of comedy as well, Alibaba. Mm. Um but aside that he, aside Alibaba, if you want to look at who is also putting the professionalism into comedy as well. You can't take away AY's name. Mm. You understand? It's very professional, strategic about it, where he has the shows, how he does the shows, we what he says, with. his subject matter, mm. you know, things. It's very, very, very strategic. So mm. I think he learned a lot under yeah. the king of comedy. And um, mm. the, that's if he did, Shah. I don't know you're giving props to somebody that did not say that. AY doesn't come, he doesn't say a word without giving a big thank you to Alibaba. Oh. I don't even think any comedian in Nigeria that is very successful. She says their name without giving a shout out to Alibaba. Okay, fair enough. Another thing though I would say about his strategy is that he doesn't put bring but Bele into his vibe. So that type of platform you can see people throw shades and all of that. And I know he's been in a lot of um, entanglements where people have actually not treated him well. And I feel like I was expecting something on social media, no, like sure one writer, fan, so. two fans, yes, or two celebrities. Well, I'm talking about celebrities. Oh, celebrities. I don't of see course. him. He's which you can do. So you can you can do. And I think it takes a, a level of maturity. Sometimes you can't just. Um, keep up with fans but I think I've noticed that as well that he's not very childish when it, maybe he does his own way of paying back or, but I don't see him bringing that type of mess to social, social media, media which makes it pretty friends yes okay cool um, I guess we should move on from EY <laughs> Prince Harry and uh, Meghan Markle sue photographer over invasion of privacy for taking photos of their son Archie the claim um, photo was snapped in their own backyard but being shocked as if they were shot during a public outing in Malibu stating that Archie has not been anywhere in public let alone at that location since they moved to Los Angeles mm. within this story just reminds me of the what will I call it now? The kind of trauma that can come with being a celebrity. Mm. I mean, the fact that they they, they they can't get into the estate, but they are using drones, helicopters, to come and check what you are doing and mm. to make sure. I mean, it is it is too much and it is ridiculous, but I guess that's the level paparazzi has got into yeah. in that country. Paparazzi has not even started in, at least Nigeria. It no, has it not even started. The it's, paparazzi are the uh, civilians. Is it the civilians catch Civilians self, sometimes they used to forget before they mm. catch. It is when something terrible is happening mm. that they remember to pick up their phone. But because they've seen you and they just want to take a picture of you, I don't think that happens a lot of times, mm. you know, but it's it's it, it's just an awakening for me to ask myself if i really want to oh yes continue on this platform. oh yes mm -hmm. definitely i think that fame is something that especially if you've really been in it it's 
mm, a lot of the times it's not very worth it. Yeah. And it, I, I think every person, we had this conversation earlier with the guest in the morning, I think every person who has a level of substance and wants a genuinely peaceful life that's in this industry mm. will always question that fame, tug of war yeah. between doing my job really well and attracting the fame and balancing that out. It, I think for me, with this story, first of all, the first thing I thought about was like, wow, I actually haven't heard them in the news or anything. <coughs> so them really being out of the spotlight is something that they want to do because a lot of the times people will talk. They've actually been but then the they'll news. still not be, just been talking about No, them. but not even like that because I've followed them a bit and I've seen that they are, it's other people who are bringing them in the news. They're not doing anything strategically to PR related. Oh, okay. Um, okay. So it seems like they actually want that peaceful life. And it's really sad that they're still not getting that. Mm. And I can imagine that already your child that you're trying to protect away from the spotlight mm. and hopefully give a normal life to is also now a victim well, to we say they should invasion. wish for too much, actually, because, I mean, they should know that that peaceful life will not be totally I peaceful. I think another mm. thing that we need to look at is the fact that these people have made it clear to the world that they want to live a very private life. <laughs> they don't the want... The world can only listen to this yes, like yes. that. Wow. Obviously, but we know that they have made it clear. That's why they stepped down from being royalties. Mm. They didn't want to be part of all that drama. They just wanted to live like normal people, get regular jobs, do regular things and mm. stuff so if people like that are trying to be low-key even mm. with all they have with what other people would kill to have mm. and they still want to be low-key mm. i think it's only right which is why i like the fact that they are pursuing this legally because yeah. they should set a precedence mm. for other paparazzi who feel like it's okay to just invade people's privacy mm. and all of that mm -hmm. so I'm and I think especially when it comes them. to with children being involved, I'm a lot more mm -hmm. intolerant mm -hmm. of that. I think people, I don't care what the industry is and fast and maybe want stuff. I think they should, we owe ourselves the decency to protect children, whoever that, whoever that child's parents are. I think you can mess around with the adults, but now starting to Photoshop their children in yeah. places. Well, let's much. see how this um, lawsuit goes because it's, it's, it's just a bit too much. It was really cringy within it and that mm. they would even contemplate doing what he did mm. <laughs> Allah, wow. and but selling so it Mm -hmm. selling it's not right. even like the person took the pictures and you're using it for your own article or you're writing now mm -hmm. you're beginning to make mm -hmm. profit out mm -hmm. of a little child mm -hmm. don't make no sense okay we'll keep an eye out for them yeah so you Educhi, is saying that maybe we should give women chance to be in position of power mm. hmm. That men have failed us. What do you think? If you're, if you're low, it's okay. What do I think? I think it's true. I think mm. um, if we're fighting for equality, if we're fighting for everybody to have a fair chance, it's only right that women should do it. And um, it's no it's no news, it's common knowledge that a lot of women in administrative positions do actually well. do better. Mm. No, it's not even just doing well, they do better than a lot of men. Yeah. Men can be sentimental, and I'm my guy, and I'm like this. A woman will be firm and strong and be like, no, nope, mm. this is. Interesting it. you said this because the other day we were having this conversation and we were trying to hail a woman for making the decision. You're like, no, 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 That's don't bring this conversation. No. Let's talk about it. That's a I person. just don't like it human when person. we make it gender. Don't this get is gender. me it wrong. Is gender. I, think there's, there's I don't like it when we try to make certain things gender based. That topic you were talking about. You are is making this. This is a gender based now. conversation. So I, I was I was thinking it won't be comfortable with you, but I'm happy it is comfortable. Yeah, you're well, comfortable with and it. And even then, I said it like I think it's a bit tone deaf to ignore gender because there is a problem with the gender in balance and gender inequality so it's i think it's important actually and that's one of the reasons why i i always preach feminism is that you have to look at things from the from the um gender perspective as well mm -hmm. it's like if you're in america and you're, so you're not talking about race, about colors you're not being strategic about employment in employment you're not thinking about color in diversity you're not thinking about color it's not going to happen so you have to bring it out there intentionally about gender but yes i agree to what he's saying i think a lot of the times the women are doing successfully well because of the pressure of undermining that we face so i think a lot of the times we've had to be excellent mm -hmm. to prove that we are we, we, yeah we deserve to be in that space and that's why there's a lot of mm. good that comes to that i don't mm. know if that'll always be the case if we ev ever level up equality maybe people will start getting comfortable i don't know but for today's reality i think what he's saying is actually really needed if we can start to give more space mm -hmm. to people who, especially politics in Nigeria, I don't think it's. I was it, going to say it's, that it's very um, um, masculine. If we, it's a mas masculine if we really want to be honest, with the amount of men in power in Nigeria, <laughs> we they are filled us. Men were embarrassed. They, they, they are embarrassed. You understand? Us. If, what if I would like to say, what, though, because I remember, I don't know, I think it was when they were doing the screening for the ministerial position, and um, when it got to a point where it, the woman walked up to the chambers or what they call their sitting, and 
she was supposed to be questioned and screened and they're like ah mama we know you are a wife woman woman da, da, da. that was what happened and then she went to see it and mm -hmm. as i am a woman but that was cringe worthy mm -hmm. like what exactly is going on so i am basically saying if you're going to give women the opportunity give them that opportunity because they deserve it yeah. and because they are qualified for that position not because you think she's based a woman on merit mm. and she has to be there so that you, feel, so that you that. feel the chair yes, yeah yeah yes. no we don't want that i, I don't mm -hmm. think it's gonna happen anytime soon because even in america mm. with that latino woman that's in the industry i don't know if you know it still happened yes they still call her mm. um slow words and stuff so Good luck. We to have her. a lot to fight for, right? Yeah. Okay, that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching. And do send your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906 or Twitter to us at Plus TV Africa. My thank you, as always, we go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwa yes, and the me. entire production team. You can also watch Tea Time on Arrow TV and in London on Ben Television. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa's Tea Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe. <laughs>